Hey guys, I want to talk to you about uh, personal achievements and having uh, goals in life. So when I was growing up uh, in, at Penn State, as a Penn State student and I was still a uh, young adolescent and or um, approaching um, young adulthood or, or adulthood, I um, made, a, made for myself a personal blueprint, which is what I, um, I made um, in Excel um, to outline the things that I felt were personal weaknesses and or points that I could make into strengths or that I could improve upon. And I progressed those and um, owned them and refined them in ways in which I felt I could then refer to them no longer as being weaknesses. So some of the things on that blueprint that I can remember are that I was always a perfectionist, in which case I could never let anything go if it wasn't absolutely perfect. So, like things kept bothering me, like um, I'm she's to the point where it's like it became like I almost became neurotic, but I didn't. I caught myself and I say myself, so I'm not that at all. That's what I think I am. But um, I did manage to find the balance for a lot of things in my life, which I do find is a personal strength of mine, and it's one of the things I excel at. Um, so, but again, again, I'm not perfect yet at that because there's still more things I can sell every day, like um, like art and blending colors and things like that. So, um, it's still something I can you know definitely improve upon to the point where you know I can be good at it and um, do it like on my wall. But I'm still you know where I'm at. So, anyway, um, some other things. My personal blueprint were to be more, um, to wake up earlier. At that point in time in my college life, what I did actually to, to do this is I did a, a Pavlovian dog training to teach myself to actually get out of bed at the sound of a dog. And I actually read this recommendation online from a, um, a site that gave advice on people who wanted to do something like that. Because I just Google, I think, how do I, how do I get out of bed sooner? Has anyone else suffered this, had this problem or encountered wanting to do this for their life? They don't sleep with their alarms or just like doesn't feel like they're a morning person. And other people on earth felt the same way. So I read some advice and the advice that I felt I could try was the Pavlovian dog one. So I tried that and whenever I had my alarm would go off, I would just, I just, well, here's the day. I set my alarm like a couple times in my bedroom to just go off. And as soon as it would go off, I just practiced getting out of bed. And then as wouldn't you know it, like after that, my, whenever my alarm would go off, my body would just like, I'd wake up and then my body would intuitively just go, oh, the alarm's off. And I would go, yeah, time to get out of bed. <laughs> so, and that would just be like, you know, how I got used to getting out of bed early and on time. And from that point, I just became gradually more and more of a morning person. And I go, okay, I need something. Some things like now, this is actually something I'm still working on. I, I know I need coffee now because that just registered in my head. It's like, I'm tired. What, what else can I do to improve my morning routine? I should get coffee. So I'm going to start making coffee um, a part of my morning routine. I have a coffee maker and I do um, like coffee. But it's weird because like for a time in my life, um, my sister's friend, Zach, uh, his last name, I guess I can say it on YouTube. His last name is Kenneth Go. I don't know if you want to hear, hear that or not. Um, I don't know if you'd be opposed to me saying his name. I don't know why it'd make a difference. Um, if anything, people might check out. Oh, I wonder if that kind of stuff too. Maybe he's still doing this, uh, ski videos at, at uh, whatever place he works at. He's still doing that. But anyway, he uh, told me once that he um, was against caffeine because he didn't like what he did to his body. He didn't want to feel like he controlled his life. So I, I respected that. And I was like, that's cool. I like people who don't depend on substances to live their life. So after I heard that, um, I decided, you know, I was working at Shell, I was gonna take, I was gonna like kind of avoid caffeine. I was like, you know, if Zef Kenefko doesn't need caffeine to get through his day, I'm not gonna have caffeine. I'm just gonna go through my life with like regular stuff. Maybe you have some green tea because it does still have like caffeine, so it still perks up your body, but also has theanine in it, so it relaxes your body too. So, like, there, I was like, so in my mind, I was like, there, I'm not like abusing the caffeine, it's a lighter dose of caffeine, so it's not gonna like, you know, cause, cause me like excess <laughs> problems in my system and get me addicted, but it's still something to help me focus in the morning, but in a way that I feel is more herbal and relaxed towards my body. So that's what I did. That's the approach I took. But um, it's uh, it's just an interesting way that I, I thought about it. But um, looking back now, it's kind of like you know, uh, maybe I don't know. I, I don't think I would have done anything differently. But at this point in my life, I'm gonna start making caffeine more more a part of my daily routine because I feel like I, I could use it to kind of just get myself on the, in the right headspace and get on the the level of where I feel like I could be at. So anyway. Also, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should have had more caffeine because I feel like as an adult going to the working world, it was more kind of the status quo. I feel like it would have been more appropriate for me to, like, you know, have more coffee. But I don't know. I, uh, I took that route, and I don't know. It just worked out the way it worked out for me. But anyway, um, on a side note, I want to say that I, I think about substances at that point in time, and I don't, I don't think now that I qualify caffeine as being an abusive and addictive substance, so I wouldn't qualify it as something you need to avoid. I used to think it was for people who were too weak to be able to focus their life on their own because they need to depend on caffeine. But now I just view it as just a regular thing you just drink in real life. And it's like it's like anything else on earth. It's like eggs that have cholesterol. It just coffee that has caffeine. So it's just something else your body uses and can use as well. Just something that does something good for your body. Just
just like uh, meats provide you protein. Um, it keeps you mentally alert and you know just lets you go about your daily life. So I have nothing against it, and I can don't caffeine completely. So or coffee completely. So if you're a coffee drinker, keep on drinking on, and uh, no no negativity towards you for doing it. So uh, there's that. And uh, also, if you're Japanese and you like green tea, by all means, have tea time. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's relaxing. It's a great ceremony. It's it's awesome. I celebrate a little more because you, you could use a little bit of a uh, joy and jolliness to that. So just empowering you to to you know do that. So hope hope you hope you can uh, take that and run straight to the bank. <laughs> anyway, um, that's that's I guess all I got to say about that. Um, except that some of the things I'm improving in my life now are my cooking. I'm trying to get more into cooking and improve my culinary skills because I want to have a more um, diverse recipe book. Um, I want to be able to, to dazzle a girl if she were to come over for a dinner and I was going to cook for her here. More specifically, I want to open my own restaurant someday, which is a goal of mine that I'm still keeping in mind. So, and also living in New Orleans, it's kind of a it's kind of a big thing. It is a French colony after all, so you know cuisine and the culinary arts are held very highly here. Uh, so, anyway. Um, I could go on and on. I actually have a list of things, but I mean, then again, that would take too long, and you don't want to hear about all of it. So, I'll let you get back to what you're doing as I wait for my coffee to brew. And anyway, have a good morning. Hope you had something to keep you perked up, because this video's going to be going all morning. If you want a marathon of me talking, well, you're going to get one. So, uh, see you all, and uh, later. <laughs>